I am the one you looking for. The Messiah is here. Good morning, Shalom. I am sure you all enjoy the festival of Purim last week. And now we are coming close to Passover. Today I'm going to tell you something very interesting thing. And also I'm going to tell you a little bit of my testimony again, because every time people watch my video, there are new people always watch and they need to know exactly my testimony. Then also I will answer a lot of questions that I see on the YouTube some teachers and preachers and motivation preachers are talking and asking and not giving any answer. So I will give you some of those answers. But let's start with my testimony, how everything happened in my life. Of course, I born and raised in India and I came age of 17, 16 in United States of America. 1999 June, son of man came with a cloud of heaven from above and approached towards me on the daytime when I was standing in front of my office. And I knew when somebody comes from above and when you see somebody coming towards you, the first thing you think that your days are over. And that's what exactly happened. My days were over when he came and I started running. I start running, but in the end, I give up. And I said, you know, whoever it is, I'm tired of this life. Go ahead and take it. And whoever was it just went inside of me, just rest upon me. And when he entered into my body, it's like my old spirit left and the new spirit come in. It's like, it's like uh, if, you, if you put a water in the bucket, and if you make a hole and you can see the water just goes down and you can see and you can feel that water is going down. It's just like that my old spirit, it just went down. You can feel inside that old blood and everything just going down and it just left from my feet. And the new spirit came in. And the, when the new spirit came in, the one, the person who rest upon me, only things start coming is praise the Lord, praise the Lord, build my house, build my house, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, build my house. And that's what exactly happened, 180 degree transformation. And I was, I feel like I'm walking above the earth because it looks like the person who's inside of me was holding me above the earth. So I do not feel the weight. That's what exactly happened in Daniel chapter 7, 13, when Daniel was his vision. He said that this is what he saw. As my vision continued that night, I saw someone look like man coming with the cloud of heaven, approach to the ancient one and led him into his presence. And then given him all the authority and his kingdom will be forever and ever and ever, which is... God had promised King David's son. Now, uh, Moshiach and Messiah. I am not Moshiach. I am not Messiah. Only reason I've been telling you guys I'm Moshiach and Messiah, because that's what your teachers and preachers are talking about for the years. Or I'm not even Ben David. I am going to tell you who I am today and if you understand very well. The Moshiach and Messiah is name being given to Rambam and Rabbis and teachers and preachers. I am the Ancient One. I am the Shiloh. I am the King David's son, which is you all call Ben David. So I am the Shiloh and I am the ancient one. I only reason I said I'm Moshiach and Messiah to make you all feel like what they talk about 
so I can be in the same page. But I am the ancient one, which is somebody old, somebody who was uh, born before, or he was exist. Well, I cannot say I was exist because I cannot tell you completely 100%. Because when I said I'm exist, that makes me a God and I am not a God. So let's put that I was born before like an ancient, like an antique. And God had promised to come back, which is Daniel 12, 13. God promised Daniel that as for you, go your way until the end. You will rest. At the end of the days, you will rise again to receive your inheritance. You will be standing on, on the lot. And that's what exactly God had promised Daniel in the whole Torah. God promised Daniel to come back. And if you look at Daniel, Daniel was God's loved one. And he was, in fact, second son of King David. So I told you that I am not Moshiach Messiah, but I am the ancient one. And that's what exactly what the Daniel chapter talk about. Now, I want to show you something that why a lot of pastor, or even I can tell you that Jesus was not the King David's son. He was not. And proof is in the Torah. And it's very simple. I'm going to read the scriptures. And please, please understand the scriptures. If Jesus, this is what Jesus said. I am the way, the truth, and life. I am the light of the world. I am the bread of life. I am the gate. I am the resurrection and death. I am the true wine. Uh, he, he just go on and then he said, me and my father is one. I am he. So he said that he is the father. So he made himself a God. Let's don't go into detail, but let me take you to Torah and make you understand one scriptures that will open your eyes and we will know on time who was Jesus in reality and who I am in reality. Sooner or later, everything will open front of you. So today, let me read one scriptures and make you understand. Go to 2 Samuel 7, uh, 12. And this is what it says. God promised Daniel, I mean David, King David. Actually, God told Nathan, and Nathan told King David. And this is what it says. And when thy days be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy father. So he said, when you will die and sleep with your father, I will set up thy seals after thee, which shall proceed out of, out of thy walls, and I will establish his kingdom. So God promised one of his own son, one of his own seed, will come back. The seed from his, which is his sons. My son's sons are their seed, but my seed is my son. So that's what he's talking about. He shall build a house for my name. So he will build the temple for God. And I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. And he will be on the throne forever. Now Solomon, if the Solomon was forever, the, we never would have this Messiah or Messiah coming in. Because God knew it from the beginning. God never promised King David that your son Solomon will be the one build the temple. But King David had desire so he was alive that time, and so he prepared so Solomon can build the temple. But in reality, Solomon built the temple because of his father. But 
in reality the temple has to be they talking about in the end time so now i will be this is what he says kingdom forever i will be his father so god is saying that his son king david's son will be his father and he shall be my son okay so there is a father and son relationship god is showing us if he commit any query if he commit the sin look at this if he commit the sin i will chastise him with the rod of men so what god is saying is father is saying that if he if he sin i will punish him but i would not take the favor from him just like i did it to the soul so this is what god said that even if he sin so the the messiah or mashiach okay he is still be sinning i'm not going to tell you i'm a perfect man because i am 21 years in since lord came into my life and in this world you are subject to sin because if i do not sin then i am a god like i said from the beginning so i am not i am not the god i am just a ordinary man just like king david moses saul they all sin but god used them so who i am is i am just like them so what god says about here that i am probably seen and he will he will spank me he will punish me but he will never take the favor that he choose me never take away from me he will always keep me on on the my father king david throne forever and ever now in when it come to jesus i think so paul wrote it down he knew no sin becomes sinner so what we know that jesus never sin and i believe i believe that he never sin it is possible but for me it wasn't possible so i cannot tell you that i am not a sinner i am a sinner so that proves that proves that king david's son the one god is going to choose him he is he can commit the sin he can commit the sin he is a sinner so jesus cannot be king david's son because he said that he knew no sin becomes sinner for our sin so that proves the king uh, uh, the lord jesus is not king david son so one thing is over there that you all wanted to know why jesus is not the king david son for the christian now let's go to genesis 49 10 and let me tell you why i'm telling you who i am okay this is what the messiah or moshiach that you are call or ancient one or shilo what is the job of the shilo and what is the job of the moshiach or messiah that's what you all asking me the moshiach and messiah what the first of the 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 question is what is his job and most of the rambam rabbi come to know that his job is to gathering of all the israeli people together and bring back to jerusalem or in israel so let's read the genesis 49:10 when jacob uh gives a blessing to each and every son of him so this is what it says the scepter shall not depart from juda nor law givers 
from beneath between his feet until Shiloh come and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. So what is saying it, uh, Jacob is telling to that the, the Messiah or the ancient one or Shiloh, Shiloh will come from the tribe of Judah and the Shiloh is the one the gather all the Israeli, all, all 12 tribe of Israel and bring it back together. This is what exactly the scripture is talking about. That, that is the job of the Shiloh and that is the job of the Mashiach. And that's what I'm here for you guys to tell you the temple has to be built. Temple has to be built. Now, either you accept me or you don't accept me right now. On guard time, I will be on my throne. Now, it is all up to you. Again and again, I always tell you it's all up to you to decide right now before it's too late because things going to get uglier and uglier. Now, there are a lot of rabbis uh, teaching and preaching about the <clears throat> dreams, about the vision. Now, there are three things, not dream, visions. And there is another one called caught up, caught up in heaven. The vision you can see <clears throat> front of your eyes like a movie. The dreams, dreams can be different things. Dreams, if you take a couple of pills of Advil, you may start dreaming also at middle of the night. Or if you have a few glass of wine, you start dreaming also. And, <clears throat> and sometimes you just dream. And caught up, caught up in the heaven. And that also like you just go into the different dimension and you see the people, you see the things. Just like you're watching the movie, it's front of you. And those are the things come to me. I've been caught up several times in heaven also, and I have a dreams and I have a vision. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's what, exactly what Daniel had. Daniel had a lot of visions, not a dream. And <clears throat> so visions and dreams and caught up things, there are three things. And that's what I have. And that's how I come to know Torah very well, because I was caught up in heaven and they gave me to it. So let's go to some uh, questions that <clears throat> I've been seeing on YouTube. These teachers and rabbis are talking about. And I do not want to uh, uh, talk bad about them because I told you in my previous video, house divided become doom. And I'm not over here to, to destroy my own house. If they're preaching and teaching and bringing people into the kingdom, then I do not have no problem. But when they talk against, even though they do not believe me, I am who I said, who I am telling you, it's fine. But they do not have no reason to say that I am not, I am not. There is a one guy, he's been writing each and every video, also on my uh, Facebook, he writes in Hebrew, <clears throat> he is not my Messiah. He is not my Moshiach. It's okay. If you, uh, if you don't believe me, it's okay. But you do not have to write again and again those things. Also, there is another teacher. He said, I'm getting very famous. Yes, I am getting very famous. And you don't need to be jealous of that. 
because you don't know who I am till I will be on my throne. So it's better not to open your mouth and just say yes and no, maybe, maybe not. But don't say I am not in the front of your teaching uh, about your dreams, which doesn't make any sense. Now, if you want to interpret your dream as Hashem, as God to give you a gift, gift of teaching, preaching, apostolic, interpreting. So ask God to give you your dream interpretation because your dreams are not making any sense. And now people are getting probably bored because each and every dreams, 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 which is your dreams. And you making out of that some numbers and putting all together and then come up with some name, Alejandro Santiago. And then Mashiach will be twins. It doesn't say in the Torah all those things. It doesn't say anything. And then the alligator on the top of the Messiah. Now, it, it, it sounds like the uh, Joseph had a dream about that cup barrier and and uh, uh, the chef baker <clears throat> about those crow come and eat. It, 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 it looks like that alligator will eat the head of the Messiah. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. So, and then another rabbi is talking about if. If somebody claim he is the Messiah or Moshiach or again, I told you, I do not say Moshiach, Messiah. I am the ancient one and I am the Shiloh. If he claim he is out like, oh, my God, he's so serious. And people have to believe him because he is sitting and talking very calm. And the one who's answered and questioning, he got shocked himself that why he's saying that. He don't know that. Who made him a judge about that? <clears throat> so the thing is, you don't need to say anything, something you don't know. Just say, maybe he will be, maybe he don't. We don't know. The time will come. Now the generation, each generation, they're talking about each generation, Moshiach come. How many generation we talking about? Each generation, how many years? No. Bible doesn't say, Torah doesn't say that he will be in each and every generation. No. He is the first and the last redeemer. So this is the last one. And even if they think he comes in each and every generation, then let me tell you one thing. <clears throat> this is the last generation. This is the generation. We'll see the ancient one, the Shiloh, the Mashiach, whatever you say, the Messiah, the Ben David. That's who I am. And I am not worrying about anything, what people think, because I am, I am, unless God have changed the mind, which is he can't. He can change the mind. Once he choose, he will finish his task or work through that person. So God do not lie. Torah is inspired by God. God do not lie. And everything is written in this word is 100 percent correct. Some of those teachers say, well, I don't know if the Torah is 100% correct or not. Then another question is, he's talking about if the Moshiach Messiah, I'm not looking for Moshiach Messiah. What do you mean you're not looking for? Each and every subject you are teaching right now is about Moshiach and Messiah. And if you're not looking for Messiah or Moshiach, then you're not the part of the tribes. Because we supposed to believe that Messiah and Moshiach is coming any second. That is one of the law. So why are you talking like that? 
Why are you talking like that? I do not understand. So to all the rabbis, the one who talk bad about me and the one do not. Let's don't talk bad about each other and preach or teach the right things. Teach the right things and don't be have ego. Now, a lot of people think I have ego. No, I do not have ego. Like I said, I'm declaring my inheritance that my father left me. I am the one to come. I am the one to build the temple. I am the one to bring you everybody back. Let's do it. I've been telling you this again and again and again. But you are very stubborn, stiff neck. And you would not probably get that chance. Some of those rabbi may not able to see me in personally. Right now, some of them see me in video and some of them not. Maybe the uh, Kanetsky probably never see my video because nobody probably have told him or show it to him. So the thing is, what I'm trying to tell you is, let's don't talk bad about Messiah, Moshiach, whoever say that because at least God have changed their life. If they if they claiming that they are Messiah and Moshiach, let them be. Because at least you know that God have changed their life and they are in the kingdom. So don't let them discourage them. But you don't have to say anything. Just don't say nothing. So the next thing is, you remember I told you that about the Trump. I told you in my prophecy that I don't know Trump is going to lose, but I don't know how he is going to stay in the power. You know, right now he's still in the power. People are still talking about him. You don't see Biden too much, but now he's coming back and he's running again. But in the middle of right now and coming back, we still don't know where we are going. What will happen? It could happen anything and he come back in the power. They're still talking about that he is coming back March the 5th or March the 6th. Well, I don't believe that he's coming back that soon, but it is possibility that something might happen in this coming months and things can change. Now, the one of the questions the pastor or rabbi or teacher said that Messiah, Mashiach is coming after Passover. Now, it is possible that I may come after Passover because before that, maybe the Gag and Magag can happen. Uh, uh, of course, I didn't, I wasn't there for Purim. And now the next is a Passover. Now, according to me, I may... I may come in June because it's a Pentecostal month and that's the month the Son of Man came from above and rest upon me. That was the June the 1st of the harvest time. So it is possibility that I may show up uh, <coughs> that time and if you still don't accept me, then I don't know. I don't know. Maybe next year. Maybe next year, because it's only on his time. So if his time is this year, which is everybody's talking about, even though a lot of Rabbi is talking about, even the Torah core Glazerson is talking about. Now, one thing about uh, Rabbi Glazerson, he haven't give up. He always tell you it's coming, 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 coming since uh, five Zero seven nine. Uh, he's he's been telling you. I think it's a five seven seven nine. Yes, he's been telling since that that Messiah is coming. Messiah is coming on Purim and Passover. This that, and um, uh, also he talk about repentance. So he haven't give up. Doesn't matter in seven nine didn't come. 
eight zero didn't come, and the eight one maybe will pass. Okay, but he haven't give up, and that's what I am doing. I cannot give up. That's what the devil wants that I give up. That's what the synagogues of Satan wants that I give up. That's what some of those rabbis, when they go against me, that's where you should understand those are the synagogues of Satan, that they do not enter into the kingdom and they would not let the others to get into the kingdom. So understand me. Please understand me that I am not your fake Messiah. I'm not giving it up. I will be there. This is the last generation. You will see your Messiah, Moshiach, ancient one, Shiloh, in this generation. Maybe, like I said, this year, if 1948, if 1948, we all... You all came and got Israel back. And if you count from their 80 years, which is God has given, not 70, 80 years, Psalm 90, 10. God stretch. He said, if we stretch, it will be 80 years. And if you count 80 years, it's 2028. We are in 2021, 5, 7, 8, 1. 5788 eight is the end. So right now, if you accept me or God bring me, then we can start building the temple. I'm sure it will take three and a half years, just like when Solomon built. So we're talking about it may take early, it may take three and a half years. And then I believe that still we have to fight with the Satan, which is the Antichrist or the, the bad guy that will come in the end to we conquer him forever and ever. So all those things will come to pass in this coming seven years or six years. We have six years, six and a half years left. So. Uh, obviously, I may show up any time, any second, and and we will start building the temple. Now, it is very important for all the Jewish people because right now, everybody is expecting that temple. Even Hindus, even Muslims, they all are expecting the third temple has to be built. Even Christians came to know that third temple has to be built. And then we will know all the 12 tribes. Who are they? If the Hinduism is the oldest one, which worship all these idols that Jacob wife was carrying, or even the, when the Solomon intermarried with with uh, Pharaoh, uh, daughters, and uh, other uh, uh, women, which wasn't belongs to the tribe of Israel, and bring those guards and, and uh, worship those idols. So you see, the first commandment says, do not make any idols. I am, the, I am your guard. And second is, do not make any idols or worship any idols. And... There is what Shiloh will be. Shiloh will be committed to only one God. I was worshipping all the gods that we have in India. But when he came to me and let me know that I am the only one, that they, I destroy all the idols. I do not worship any idols like God have told King David, that if your son will follow my rules, and he didn't do it, he didn't do it, and that's why God knew it, that he won't able to make it. And that's why God bring me for this end time. He choose me for this end time. I believe that today's message that I gave you about 
Jesus is not the son of King David. He can be someone else that what he said, but he's definitely not son of King David because he knew no sin becomes sinner. I'm a sinner and I'm going to tell you till he put me in my throne. I don't know. This tongue is a speakable of all evil thing and sometimes it slips. Sometimes it slips and you don't know what you do. So, but every time I have done wrong, I come to the Lord and I ask for forgiveness. And he may be punishing me. He, he punished me. I see sometimes. And he bring me back into my line. And so today's message, just understand, let everybody know what I'm talking about. There are a lot of young students. They want to know about right thing about what's coming. And my videos, most of them are a lot of young kids between 18 and 34 are watching my videos. Now, you know, the lot of older uh, people, only way they can understand if their rabbi tell them the truth, rather than telling, no, he cannot be, because they do not need to be judged, because otherwise they will be judged. So, let's Get one thing straight. I am coming very soon. There are a few questions that I wrote it down that, that I see on the YouTube. And and uh, let, let's go through two few questions and I give you the answer. And if you think that I am right, please write me in my comments. If I am wrong, write me also in my comments. I'm here to give you the right answer what God gives me. I'm not making my own answer. My answer will be through the word. It will be in the Torah or the Bible somewhere. <clears throat> and you can go through that. So one of the questions, it says, Moshiach will begin his reign in 5781. It is possible. Yes. If you accept me, it is possible. Even if you don't accept me, if this is the final year, then God will put me or God will put whoever the Messiah or Mashiach is, God will put him on the throne because it is about the time to start building the temple. Some of you are disagree with me that I'm claiming to be. You don't have to agree with me if you don't want to, but you don't have to say a bad thing about me either. The second thing, he's coming after Passover. I told you that it is possibility because he came to me on June 1st, Pentecostal month. The third thing, should you panic? No, you shouldn't be panic. You shouldn't be panic because you should be rejoiced because that's what God said that one day I will bring him and and we will have a peace. We will have a lot of peace. We will love each other. We will help each other. Uh, and so many promises that he made that will happen. So you shouldn't be panicked. About Jesus, I told you about the Jesus was the, the king, uh, uh, David, son. And I told you everything about it. So you shouldn't have any questions about it. The other questions. Is Messiah is almost here. Yes, I am here. I am here. And I would not lie to you. I am here. If I am not, then someone else, if you are expecting, he is here unless... God took the anointing from me and gave it to him. But which is, I don't think so. Because once he chooses, he will finish your task. So right now, yes, I am here. So this generation will see the Moshiach and Messiah. 
they will see the temple. They will see all the promise that God has made. Next, let's don't talk about the holy oil right now because the anointing that I receive is directly from the God. Now, if you accept me, then the priest that you have right now can anoint me. But if you don't, then I'm already been anointed by God. Like he said, this Messiah will be the priest and the king, both. So I don't need to be anointed by any priest. But if you accept me, then we need to obey the rules and priest will be anoint me with olive oil. Next question. What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for if the Messiah is here? Because I told you there are a lot of synagogues of Satan. Even the government in Israel probably do not want the Messiah. They want to see first to clean up the mess they have over there to take over Iran. So it could be possible that they are waiting and they do not want Messiah to come right now. I am sure they know me because when I was there, I went to go see the Netanyahu. And he wasn't there, like I told you. And they took my driver license. They took my all the informations. So they knows that. And yes, a lot of rabbi talking about what they call a syndrome. Syndrome of Messiah. And let me tell you, I do not have syndrome of Messiah or Moshiach. I don't have to be. But he chose me. I cannot back off. I cannot back off because he won't let me. I tried several times. I said, well, they do not listen. They don't want me. Why you want me to do this? But he's continuing inside of me and he continue telling me, you can't give up because I am the one doing it. So I cannot give up. And I am coming to Jerusalem to receive my inheritance. Next questions. What will happen to Islam after Moshiach come? Well, they are also worshipping the same God. They are worshipping the Father. So, the day the temple will be start building and when they will see the God glory, they will come to know that father of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob is the same God as they have, we have, and we all will be worshiping in the same place. The next questions. Angel of the Lord is the Messiah or Moshiach? Well, <clears throat> That's what Israel people are waiting for. Well, it is possible the son of man, son of man who came from above, could be the angel of the Lord. I am not sure what answer I can give you, but he could be angel of the Lord. He is the one is inside of me and he is the one is going to do the work. It could be the spirit of Hashem. It could be uh, the resurrected Daniel, son of King David. I have no idea, but whoever it is, he has the spirit of Hashem inside of me, and he's the one is going to do the work through me. Now, I could be coming back again, even if I die, because according to my knowledge and revelations, I am divine and I would not die. So even as Revelation chapter, they said the two prophets will die and rose again. Maybe I will die and the third day I will rose again. Let's, let's don't talk about that one. Let's go one thing at a time, messianic age, king and the priesthood 
and build the temple. Hashem will anoint his king. Yes, he already have anointed me. I am the king and the, I am the priest. In the Zechariah chapter, if you read that I will be the priest and I will be the king. And my anointing is from above, not from earthly. Messiah will lift up. Yes, of course, he is a king. He will be the king of the earth. Of course, he will be lift up. He will be lift up all the way high. So, yes. How will you know when Messiah come? They don't. They don't. Only they know by internet. By internet, I'm telling them I am, but they don't because they are looking outwardly, not inwardly. They're not looking for the right person. They're looking for, they think that Messiah will be coming from one of the Orthodox with a long beard, kepa, uh, black clothes, or he will be uh, a scholar of Torah. Uh, he could be one of the rabbi, or he could be one of the rabbi's son. So all those things, I cannot tell you what, what, what is stopping them. But one of the thing is they're not looking inwardly, they're looking outwardly. So, yes, they're going to have a hard time. And even if they're talking about the Elijah will come first. And he will point how they will know he is the Elijah. They're going to have a problem with Elijah. Same thing, same way. So I believe that it's only the God appointed time. I will come on my throne. Will there will be council of rabbi to validate him. Like I said, if you choose me first, yes. Because there are some rabbis that in Malachi chapter, God have appointed for end time. Their names are written in the scroll because they were talking about God and they had a fear of God. So yes, it is possible. Moshiach, the outcast. Yes. I am from, from the different caste. They will reject me uh, in the beginning. But like I said, never know. Maybe like they said uh, that uh, 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 Elijah will come, the Moses will come, whoever will come and will know who I am. And that's how everything will start. So let's Today, I want to tell you one thing. Repent. Come to the Lord. Believe me what I say. Let's start building the temple. Let whole world see the Torah is 100% correct. And so they can start also reading Torah. Come to the Lord and worship. Let's do one thing right now. Please, if you like this video and if you understand, write me a comment. If I say something wrong, please forgive me. Please write me. Also to those rabbi, please, if I say something wrong about you also, forgive me. But write me a comment. Put thumbs up. Let other people know. Let's do your work now. I'm doing my work. I'm doing my work. I'm, I'm not going to give up till you all accept me. So please, you do your work. I know there are 3,000, 4,000 subscribers I have right now. If you just let 10, 20 people know, <coughs> the whole world will come to know that Messiah is here. Thank you and God bless you.